Welcome to Lynx Game Channel. Today we are talking about Evil West. This is an action-adventure video game played from the third-person perspective. In this game, the player takes control of Jesse Rentier, a vampire hunter. Jesse is equipped with powerful firearms, including a six-shot pistol, rifle and flamethrower, and melee weapons, including a gauntlet that can accumulate electrical energy and an axe. Flying Hog Games has a diverse portfolio, with titles like Trek to Yomi garnering appreciation, while others, such as the Shadow Warrior series, eliciting mixed reactions. Evil West, their latest endeavor, follows suit. It embraces a classic approach, presenting a straightforward narrative populated with archetypal characters and visuals reminiscent of earlier console generations. The punchy combat mechanics, blending melee, powers, and firearms offer moments of excitement especially during some decent boss battles. The addition of melee action adds variety to how you dispatch enemies, enhancing the overall gameplay experience. Additionally, the inclusion of co-op mode is a nice touch, allowing players to enjoy the adventure together. However, despite these strengths, the game's appearance and gameplay may feel dated, reminiscent of titles from two generations ago. Furthermore, its linear level design and lackluster dialogue contributed to a somewhat monotonous experience. The narrative, while functional, is about as hackneyed as they come, lacking in originality or depth. Overall, Evil West exudes a sense of nostalgia, appealing to fans of traditional shooter gameplay, especially when enjoyed in the company of others. While it may not break new ground, it offers a familiar yet entertaining journey through the Wild West filled with classic cowboy vampire encounters. Evil West emerges as a solid gaming experience, offering players a campaign spanning approximately 15 hours filled with challenges to overcome. Set on normal mode, players can expect a satisfying level of difficulty that keeps them engaged throughout their adventure. Additionally, the game's availability on Game Pass provides accessibility to a wider audience, inviting players to dive into its Wild Western world without additional cost. However, while the game boasts strengths in its gameplay and duration, some aspects may leave players wanting more. The graphic settings, for instance, present a peculiar challenge, with performance mode resulting in a blurry visual experience, while graphic mode offers an average of 30 frames per second, occasionally dipping into low frame rates, disrupting the immersion. Overall, Evil West stands as a commendable addition to the gaming landscape, offering a substantial campaign and challenging gameplay. Yet, its technical quirks may detract from the overall experience, reminding players that even the most promising adventures can stumble in their execution. Thank you for tuning in to this review. We hope you found it informative and helpful in making your decision regarding the purchase of this game. Don't hesitate to subscribe and give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the content. Stay tuned for more game reviews coming your way. See you next time.